So I want to show you a super quick and natural look that you can accomplish so fast, probably even in less than five minutes, and it's going to be a full face. Let's get started. I don't know what I'm wearing this sweater, but it's just bothering my neck, but it's okay. Let me prepare my products here. Such a quick look. You don't need a lot of products in here. Let's have some Tim Hortons. I like to get a dark roast. Uh, three creams and two sugars in a large so this is so good and nice and hot so a very quick and fast easy look this is a new product in my collection this is by benefit i'm still testing this out the benefit fluff up brow wax i don't know what to think about this one i guess it's fluff up maybe that's why it just fluffs up the brows but this is definitely not a wax I know Paige Corn really likes this product and it does look nice. It's not bad and it doesn't leave any of the white residue that you see that I'm putting in. Uh, it just keeps the brows in place like that but uh, without making them feel waxy. Even though it's called a brow wax, that's why I bought it because I do like the waxy feeling in my brows. And I can tell you that uh, my favorite and the one that actually works for my brows is my Patrick Ta one. Patrick Ta Four Brows Major Brow Lamination Gel. This is the one that works best. And that's a mini, so I do wanna get a large one. But anyways, I thought today we should just do a quick look. I'm just going out today to my son's hockey game and I do wanna talk about some, you can call them channel changes. Just kind of my plans in, this year so that looks nice you can see but they don't give you that feeling of like hard lamination on your brows let me get this this is like a tatcha spatula that i have and i'm just gonna use this to kind of press the brows in <laughs> i don't have many of those brow spoolies but yeah i'm gonna use this one it works okay so next i'm gonna go in with my misha Perfect Cover BB Cream and this is an SPF 42 and uh, I have mine in natural beige. So it does come across a little bit darker. Keep in mind that I do have sunscreen on my face and also all of my skincare. About my channel, obviously I love doing what I'm doing. I'm not gonna quit YouTube or anything. It's nothing major like that. I'm gonna keep going but I am thinking of kind of trying to not fall into that behavior of just buying everything that comes out new. My channel has never been like that. What I'm thinking is I will continue if I do see something that I really, really love and I have the money for, then I will go ahead and buy it. However, I don't want to continue just I mean, I have never been like that. It's not like I've always just bought for the sake of it. I buy what I really, really like and what I think my audience enjoys as well. Yeah, I'm just going to continue doing like shop my stashes and trying to use more of the products I own because I have so many beautiful foundations and concealers that I just don't want to keep buying. And I really love those. just don't want to keep buying and not use what I have and now with Christmas and my birthday passing by I did buy a lot of foundations and concealers that I truly love and I need to use so I'm happy for now however if I see something that I really really want or test out then I will go ahead and buy it but I'm just telling you that you'll probably see more videos on my channel using the products I own I'm not gonna do a no buy I'm not gonna put myself in that position I don't know if you want to call this a low buy but you know, like maybe one month I won't buy anything, but there's just so many good products out there and I love them all. And maybe one month I buy something. Stay tuned because speaking of no buying, I actually did buy something and it's a Dior palette. I have two already by Dior and I'll show you. This type of palettes. I love the palettes. I love the see-through packaging so I can see the shades. I love the size of it. I love the formula, the colors, and I bought the purple one. So it has some purples in it and that's coming. So I will do a video on that palette and we're gonna play with it. But like I said, you know, palette, I have my new Patrick Todd, that Dior, so 
that's kind of like that's it for now until I see something else but like I said you're gonna see more videos of me like getting ready with me tutorials and just playing with makeup and also shop my stash I'll show you my makeup collection so I hope that you guys enjoyed those type of videos and also comment down below and let me know what you think and what type of videos you prefer to watch and enjoy watching anyways i'm gonna go into my tower 28 this is in the shade dtla the concealer and i'm just gonna conceal a little bit like add a little extra coverage here that's what i'm thinking only because obviously makeup is expensive don't get me wrong i love having all of this makeup and i love purchasing everything that comes out new just because something's expensive and new doesn't mean it's good as well like i have some foundation that i spent like over a hundred dollars on foundation and it's nothing special this that i spent like 14 dollars it's better than a hundred dollar foundation uh, what i'm talking about this example is the shantikai foundation gel like that's nice it looks nice very um skin like feeling but i like this skin like look a little bit better than the Shantikai and that was like over a hundred dollar foundation but I do I did want to try it because I don't own anything by Shantikai I've seen a lot of people really loving the brand and it's not a bad foundation it's just you know I don't it's not worth a hundred dollars so that's an example now this looks so pretty look how flawless this looks I did have some imperfections here you know what maybe we should just cover a little bit more right here um and here it's nothing bad but yeah so that's kind of what i'm thinking on my channel but like i said if i do see something that i really want anything i really love complexion products rarely i buy eyeshadow palettes because i have so so many now i'm gonna go in with my bronzer and this is the victoria beckham bronzer in the shade o2 I love this it's like a contour and bronzer thing going on here but what I like to do is I like to dip my brush into both like this and bronze up the complexion so I'll try to put it like on my cheekbone here and we're not going to use eyeshadow today that's what I'm telling you that this is more focused on complexion today and less on the eyes but I will show you we're still going to define the eyes a little bit that's what i was thinking when it comes to channel changes nothing major nothing different i love makeup and i love playing with makeup so i love talking to you guys in the comments it's really fun so don't worry i'm not going anywhere you can't get rid of me that fast look how beautiful this bronzer is mm. I'm also thinking I would really love to try to do a live. I don't know how lives really work. Like, do I use my laptop, my cell phone for like a good quality? And yeah, I, ju I just don't know. I have to figure it out and kind of learn more about that. But wow, look how natural this bronzer looks. It's not patchy. So, so pretty. Okay, so we're going to come back to this to work on the eyes, but finishing the complexion, this is a new product, which was another splurge, but I'm actually happy I have it. Oh, these little hairs bug me. And this is by Dior. This is the Dior Forever Luminizer. Dior Forever Luminizer in the shade 05 Rosewood Glow. So look how pretty this is. You know, it's a little bit more rosy, but it looks really nice on the skin. And with a blush on top, it's going to look pretty. I like to apply this one first. So I'm going to go with this. This is like a Morphe uh, Blink brush. <laughs> Very similar to Blink brushes. And I'm just going to put this on my cheek. Try to avoid this area here where I have smile lines. Only because... I've noticed that that can emphasize my smile lines if I add highlighter there. So I do want to have some highlighter on my cheek, but maybe not as high. So I like to apply this first because it looks kind of like a blush. 
because the rosiness that it gives to it and then I'm gonna apply my blush and kind of mash it with it and for blush I'm gonna go into this Clinique Cheek Pop Black Honey this is so pretty and so so subtle oh, like gorgeous and it's non um, non powdery at all so I'm gonna go with a blinked brushes f5 this is by blinked brushes I love this brushes and just slowly intensify the color on the cheek here that's so pretty yeah this is super fast I like this is even like faster than my less than 10 minute makeup look it takes longer because I'm talking but it's very fast just a BB cream a little bit of concealer bronzer you don't even have to go with highlighter but I really wanted to show you this combo because look at that natural glow it's so pretty see it's so nice and subtle uh, you don't need um, eyeshadow primer but I like my MAC eyeshadow primer so I'm just gonna add a little bit to eliminate any of this blue veins in my eye or on my eyelid what I want to say so you see that the benefit brow product like that's my kind of second favorite out of all of my brow products that I have it actually it does keep the brow in place without having that crispy feeling on your brows which I'm sure some of you really like that right but to me if I know that I have that crispy feeling like you can see this brow kind of fell that crispy feeling kind of keeps the brow in place for longer I think it's not bad it looks nice okay so let's go ahead and apply a little bit of this bronzer all over the eyelids I'm gonna start with maybe the darker one in the crease and above and the lighter one all over my eyelid and it's that simple so let me zoom you in a bit so I'm gonna go with a BK Beauty 201 brush and let's go into this darker one so that's a, this is like a cool trick that I've learned if you don't have a lot of eyeshadows or you don't want to pull out an eyeshadow just use your bronzer because that really ties in all of the colors on your face with your eye so do the same thing on this eye so I'm gonna start in the middle and outwards first to deposit where the most product is heavy and then after I swirl it around then I'm gonna bring it in when I don't have as much product on the brush I really love watching like what type of videos do you guys really enjoy watching like I, I really enjoy watching mostly when people apply complexion products I like eye looks as well but I like like a full face I don't like just a specific thing I, I really enjoy anything about my favorite youtubers to, to watch so now I'm gonna go into the light shade and apply it all over the eyelid but I want to know what you guys really enjoy watching do you guys enjoy the content you see on my channel or is it something in specific you love more or love less that's so easy so so simple so you see how nice and natural the eyes look that's it so I'm gonna go in with the darker one a bit closer to the crease here and outer corner and just intensify this a little bit more and then just bring it in this is easy just one brush you have to get dirty now let's go ahead and just I wonder if I should do anything on the bottom let's put a little bit on the bottom lash line as well so I'm just gonna get a MAC 221 brush and I'm gonna go into that darker shade and just add a tiny bit here just to tie in those colors not much we're not gonna create a smoky look this is a simple fast look you can skip this step obviously I want to have more of a brightening eye not too much eyeshadow on the bottom but I think a nice fluffy brush like this one really distributes the product like it makes it look like it's barely anything there yet it ties in everything together nice now if you notice that the concealer has settled into your fine lines you go in this way from outward inwards and boom it's gone so that's it for the eyes let's move in to mascara and this is my Huda Beauty one coat wow mascara this is really a wow mascara it's so so good let me do one eye so you guys can see so you're not using any liner nothing this mascara is everything lengthens 
it voluminizes, it separates. It is it is my favorite mascara from Sephora, like like a high-end mascara. Then on the bottom lashes, I'm not gonna use any powder today. This makeup I've worn before and I know it lasts all day long. Now look at this mascara. So this is the eye with the mascara. You see how, oh my goodness, so spidery and so big. Uh, so simple yet it looks so pretty, right? Now let me quickly apply and finish my other eye. Enjoy this intermission. I'll be right back and I will show you a cool lip trick and really lip combo that I really love. Okay, so here are the eyes complete. So natural and so clean and refreshing and awakening it looks. I love, love, love this, this makeup look and it's so fast. Now let me show you, oh, my neck is itchy. Let me have a sip of Tim Hortons. Mm, I love Tim Hortons. Okay, um, lip combo. I bought all of the Tower 28 lip liners, which are only three. And this is in the shade Fill Me In. It's such a pretty, light, mauvey, neutral color. Show it to you on my hand here. I love the formula. I love the pencil itself. I think if I were to choose between this and the um, this one, the Makeup Forever ones, I love this Tower 28 better. Uh, the formula feels a little bit more smoother on the lips. It just blends in with your lips a little bit better, I find. I like the Makeup Forever ones too, but I think my I prefer uh, Tower 28 better. So let's try to line the lips. So I'm just gonna overline here only. And then I'm just gonna follow my lip line. It's kind of like my lip color, but better. And I'm just gonna fill it in now. I love lip liners. I would rather buy lip liners than lipsticks. How are you guys? Because with a lip liner, you can do both things. You can line your lips and use it as a lipstick. And you can leave it like this, but here's the other trick. I love my Laneige lip mask, the berry one. And I like to, let me make sure that I have enough color here. I'm gonna go with a little bit of the lip mask and just dab it. You can use anything. You don't have to use this lip mask. You can use a, like a lip oil or a lip balm, anything you have. You don't have to go ahead and buy the Dior lip oils or anything. Anything from the drugstore, anything you own at home. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like the lips look like so natural, juicy, and very hydrating and healthy. You see how clean and natural it looks? And this makeup actually lasts all day long. I've worn this makeup and I said to myself, I gotta put a bin together so that I can show you guys that you can accomplish a very nice natural look just with a few products, one of the, or two brushes, and that's it. Now, I love these products. They're gorgeous products. I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said in the beginning, let me know what type of videos you really enjoy watching. I will continue um, doing what I'm doing and I will continue just doing some, um, you know, get readies with me and tutorials and just use the makeup in my collection. And what I'm thinking is maybe I'll do a lot more shop my stash videos, you know, like I do one every, I don't know, two months or so where I change my vanity makeup, right? And then maybe I'll do more shop my stash where I'll just bring you with me in my makeup collection right behind me and choose some makeup and get ready together and just play with the makeup in there and then I'll put it back in there. So I'm not gonna switch it every time I do a shop my stash. But yeah, I've been using this what's on my desk a lot and I do have a bin here. I will show you. Let me show you. Let me insert the clip here to show you. So that's the bin I have with all of my new makeup products that I will, um, I'm still testing out. And I also bought this. 
a new foundation from the drugstore that I'm going to do a video on. So we'll see if that's going to be before or after this. But yeah, that's all of the new makeup that I'm testing out. Yeah, that's about it. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this really fresh, clean look. Very minimal and very natural. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye. I don't want nobody stabbing